So today's class is called Another Radical Experiment in Empathy. As a Palestinian, right, I want to see, I want you to be able to develop uh, insight into seeing the, this conflict from the perspective, say, like of his parents, who both went over and volunteered to support the IDF, okay? I want you to be able to see the path to being here, seeing it from a Palestinian perspective, like really seeing it and really feeling it, and you really seeing it and feeling it. And for you, Zoe, I want you to be able to hold equally just both perspectives, like really equally. And I know you lean in one direction, but it's really important to lean equal. Okay, that's the experiment. And so what I'm gonna do is very strong, I'm gonna take a very strong position, Palestinian position, and then I'm gonna take, or actually I'm gonna start with a very strong Jewish position, and then I'm gonna take a very strong, or Israeli position, I should say, then a very strong Palestinian position. And your job is to follow me on this and recognize that I'm taking these positions because this is a college classroom. And the purpose of being in college is to think, and in particular to think in ways that we are not trained to think or ready to think, okay? So just keep that in mind as we move forward. I'm gonna go back and forth. Can you see, can you see a path to be, not a path, not to support, but do you see a path like, do you have empathy? I've always had empathy because... Tell me what that looks like, yeah. I have never looked at any Jew, especially Jews, okay, as an enemy just because they're Jewish, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. Nor have I looked at Israelis as enemies just because they're Israeli, mm -hmm. okay? There are a lot of people who were born there, like I was born here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That wasn't my choice, but I grew up in America. I consider myself an Arab American, a Palestinian American. There are a lot of people in Israel that didn't choose to be born there. That's the life that they were given. <laughs> and then there are people like Netanyahu, who was born in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and went to school there and goes back over there to terrorize Palestinians. Uh -huh. I have never seen someone like Ethan just because he supports, sorry, just because he's Jewish, mm -hmm. or Zoe, just because she's Jewish, before I kn know that she's pro-Palestinian mm -hmm. or not, as an enemy. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I do hate the idea of Zionism that drives people to support a nation that pushes my people out, mm -hmm. that, that pushes, pushes my mm -hmm. family out and has pushed my family out before and has put the, some of my family in a concentration camp, mm -hmm. just like what was once done to them. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a lot of people say that the Holocaust happened because some Muslim guy told Hitler to burn the Jews. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've never heard anything about that before mm -hmm. all of this happened. So you're saying that some Muslim guy told Hitler to burn the Jews so that so no, no, now no. we should be punished? No, no, no. Martin Luther's Christian. Oh no, I'm not talking about oh, yeah, I got Martin you. Luther. Sorry. Oh yeah, okay, I got you. No, no, it's not saying that. It's saying that. Um, yeah, no, this is the idea, right? Yeah. So how is it that you suddenly get received the punishment? Like, why? Did, why does it come down on you? Why does it come down on Palestinian people and your, and your ancestors? Like, you're asking that question. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. The thing is, Palestinians have always been a large population of Muslims, Christians, and Jewish people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The people who were there, some of them may have migrated into Palestine from other regions, but a lot of them used to be ancient Hebrews yeah. who converted to Islam, who developed the identity of being an Arab, of being a Palestinian. Listen, it is a, it's an immensely complex, it layered is. place with many ethnicities and races and cultures and languages and lineages coming together Very in much. a thousand different ways. Okay, all right. Hang, hang on, let me go first. Ethan, what, yeah, what's your, like, what's your take on the... 
I mean, of course I have empathy for all of the people who have been displaced or have been taken, had their homes removed from them. However, looking at the history of the Jewish people, we as a people have never been truly accepted anywhere. Uh -huh. And if you have looked at your family, or let's say your people, for thousands of years, uh -huh. and have said, we have never been accepted anywhere joining other groups, yeah. the natural conclusion is to come to, what if we had our own place? And that is the idea behind Zionism, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the Zionism as a, as a way of saying, hey, um, where are Jewish people going to go? Right? Jewish people, this long, the longest hatred, like a really long hatred, right? So where are Jewish people going to go? And so many Jewish scholars started to come together and talk about, okay, well, we go back, to, we follow the, 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 the prophets and we follow the teachings, and so we'll go, we'll go to Israel, which by now is not Israel, it's Palestine, and people are living there, right? But the idea is like, okay, so we go there. So, but you, so you, but you do, is there anything that Jawa said that you, you struggle with or do you can you go with that i mean yes i understand the frustration of seeing your people or your ancestors be displaced uh -huh. and at the same time though looking at the past 70 years per se yeah it is difficult to understand the perspective when all of these things have been attacks on israel and then okay. israel having responses okay so here's one thing hang on before you respond it's not just frustration, though. It's like, it's real, man. Like, so, you know, what I was saying about the things that Palestinians experience, like, yo, man, it's real. And if you were with me in going through the West Bank, let's say, and talking to my co people I know, people we meet, and, like, I'm quite certain that you would say the things that have hap that happened to them because of, you know, Israeli soldiers and Israeli policy and so on. I'm pretty sure as an American, you would be like, oh, man, that's really, that's, no, no. Yeah. Zoe, how about you? Like, what do you hear here? Like, what, what yeah. did anything shift in your, in your thinking? So, for me, I think that the discrimination... <clears throat> Sorry, I think that the discrimination against Jews and like I'm the descendant of Holocaust survivors like my whole family's Ashkenazi Jewish I know that my family like a part of my family survived the Holocaust like hid in a basement to escape the Nazis and like that is really influential to why I am pro-Palestine because mm -hmm. yeah like as Jews like as a Jew you grow up aware that like historically people don't like us like as a people, we have been kicked out of places, displaced, uh -huh. we've been kept in open air prisons, like Nazi ghettos, and systemically mass murdered. So like, do I believe Jews deserve a place to feel safe? Yeah, but like at what cost? Kicking Palestinians off their land and killing Palestinians? Like, to me, that's like, that's what I have trouble with because like, how can we, as a people who have been mass murdered, okay. turn around and do the same thing. Okay, so let me ask you, let me say this. Uh, what if you were to not say pro-Palestinian? What if you were to say, I am a Jewish person who has a really kind of detailed and amplified understanding of what Palestinians have experienced? Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's accurate, but like, I feel like, I usually just, yeah, I don't know, just, it's, it's like the easier way to say, it. instead it's of like being like, so, I'm Jewish, but I support this aspect of like, I support the Palestinian liberation movement, and I don't really support Zion, like it's easier to just be like, but, 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 but listen, when you say that though, what Hamas did, they would say this is part of the Palestinian liberation movement to go into Israel and slaughter 1200 Jews. So like, that's where I feel like, like, I will not excuse what Hamas did. Like, okay, um, okay, but understand, if you say I support the Palestinian liberation movement, mm -hmm. to many Jewish people, that's what they wait, hear. Wait, so...